Let's talk about the joy of living for a moment. You know, world-renowned people often say that the experiences that they remember and they treasure the most are not the great financial gains or international recognition, but the simple joy that they found in everyday relationships with family and friends, the day-to-day -day joy they experienced working toward their goals. This is certainly true when I think back on my life, and I bet it's true when you think back on yours. Some of my happiest times have been uncontrollable laughter where f funny things have happened. I even uh, tell people to keep three by five cards, write down funny things that have happened in your life, and then go back and refer to those often during the year when you need to have a new a sense of joy. And I guarantee you, you'll think of more things all the time. And as you think about it, as you relive it, you'll be uh, practically falling off your chair again, laughing about the experience. Well, God's love is one of those joys in life. It inspires and it nurtures us in a daily way. And it unfolds us to embrace life more. So many people are in the bleachers. They're, they're not really looking at life. They're not in the game. Perhaps it's because of a fear. But if they would only embrace life, and allow the love of God to infill them, they would be there to have the happy, joyful experiences. Let's remember to love simply for the joy of living and to express the joy of living through the joy of loving, along with work, relationships, and personal priorities for this new time in our life, let's add love to the agenda. And I mean that. I, I have a uh, to-do list on my calendar. And I will always, when I'm smart, write down uh, the first thing is to love. And when I do that, the whole day the whole week, the whole month becomes more joyful. It is the powerful main ingredient in life that enriches our lives, but also the lives of those around us. I pray that you love for the joy of living, the joy of loving. Amen.